Hey, this is Chris from Record Talk. So we're going to do a contest. And we're doing the contest for Steven. Uh, Steven73, who's been making vinyl videos for 13 years. Wow, that's almost unbelievable. And so to celebrate his 13th year, he wants us to make videos about records from the Netherlands. Dutch records. He's from the Netherlands. And so I've got uh, three Dutch groups to show, and then a couple others that kind of sort of qualify along the way. I'm not going to use the cheap uh, technique of showing Van Halen records. Oh, the Van Halen guys were originally from the Netherlands. No. So we'll start off with what is probably the most well-known um, Dutch rock band in America. That would be Golden Earring. I happen to own two Golden Earring 7-inch records, uh, none of their albums, and the two records I own are the two most obvious ones. These were their two hits in America, so basically 10 years apart, uh, Radar Love from 1973 and uh, The Twilight Zone from 82 or 83. They were separated by, I think, about 10 years. Uh, at least in America, they're considered to be the weird two-hit wonder. I do realize that in, like, the Netherlands and Germany, they had a lot of hits, not just the two. Next thing I'm going to show in this band I only have on CD. This band is probably most naturally in my wheelhouse of music. This band is kind of a 90s alternative rock band. Uh, I think they sound a lot like a lot of the bands from the Boston, New England era. So you've got... Pixies, Throwing Muses, Belly, Juliana Hatfield, Buffalo Tom, all those sorts of groups. I'm talking about Betty Savipt. So, of course, Betty Stova serves the tennis ball. Then you get a band named Betty Savipt. Uh, the 1992 album Palomine, at least in America, they were on Matador Records. And then I also have their 1995 album Lamprey. Uh, this is Matador slash Atlantic, so they at least were briefly on a major label here in the United States. So that's Betty uh, Sevirt. And then I've got, oh, what year is this album from? This album's from like uh, 1977, a band called Solution. This album called Fully Interlocking. So this is sort of a Dutch art jazz rock group i randomly found this for a dollar somewhere and decided to take sort of a flyer on it i probably only honestly have listened to it a couple of times um but there are the guys there are their names i don't know if St stefan if you know of uh, this band much or not um i don't remember them being stars in the united states at all this is an English pressing of this particular album. And then, to show you, I actually have a couple of records that are Dutch pressings. So here's the Black Sabbath album, Sabotage. And I know you said, don't show British records. Why are you showing me a British record? Well, because this particular record, uh, trying to get the focus in, you can see it says, Made in Holland. NMES 1980. This album was from like 1975, but this is a 1980 Dutch pressing of this Black Sabbath album. And then the other one I have that's sort of along those lines is this single by the Lemonheads. The name is Locha. So um, the Lemonheads had covered the Suzanne Vega song, uh, My Name is Luca. And apparently in 1989, they were doing a European tour. Um, they recorded a couple songs in an interview uh, for Dutch radio. And so uh, the A side of this is the Luca song. And then side B has a short interview. And then another song called Mallow Cup. It's on something called Stekelvarken Records, uh, which I never heard of before. It's the only thing I have on that label. Uh, the funny thing about the interview is the woman who's interviewing them thinks she's talking to Evan Dando, when in reality she is talking to uh, the guitar player Corey Luke Brennan. Um, so there you go. Some Dutch records for 
Stefan's 13th anniversary. So if you got some Dutch records, get them out and enter his contest.